so I found some longer ones today. What do you think glitches in the matrix are? Do you think they're glitches or people are just remembering wrong or what? First glitch. So, last Sunday I decided to hit up our local beach. Not one of those crowded ones with hundreds of umbrellas and sunbathers, but a quieter, more isolated spot where you can hear the waves and not someone's blasting music. Had a cute little picnic planned, sandwiches, chips, cold drinks, the works. Anyway, after a swim, I come back to my spot and freeze. There's this dude in a full-on business suit rummaging through my stuff. A suit at the freaking beach. But it's not just the suit. The guy's wearing these bizarre goggles, like a cross between steampunk and scuba gear, completely out of place. I'm thinking, is this some weird photo shoot or prank? I shout out, hey, what the hell? And he instantly snaps his head towards me. No words. Just this dead, emotionless stare. Super unsettling. But before I can do anything, this guy bolts, running awkwardly on the sand in his fancy shoes. Brushing off the weirdness, I head back to my picnic spot, ready to shrug it off and snack. But here's where shit gets real weird. All my food? There's now two of everything. Two identical sandwiches, right down to the bite I'd taken out of one. Two bags of chips, double the drinks. It's like someone hit copy-paste on my picnic. My mind's racing. Did the guy do this? Why and how? Is he a prankster? I packed up, left the beach, and tried to convince myself it was some kind of trick or illusion. Told a couple of friends and of course got the you sure it wasn't the sun getting to your head comments? But no way. If you inspect the duplicated items, you can see they have minor details that are exactly similar like light scratches or dents on the soda cans. Exactly the same. Not something a prankster in a hurry would pay any attention to. This was real, and that man was real. Next glitch. I was driving along a desolate stretch of highway one night, returning home from a business trip. The journey was monotonous, and I had only the hum of the engine to keep me company. As I approached a particularly long and straight section of road, there was a car up ahead, identical to mine, down to the license plate number. I accelerated, getting closer to investigate. The other car's driver looked exactly like me, wearing the same clothes, even having the same scar on his hand. Our eyes met and I could see the same bewildered expression on his face that I must have had on mine. We kept pace for a while, both of us probably trying to make sense of the situation. I decided to pull over at the next rest stop, thinking that maybe we could figure this out. As I signaled and started to slow down, the other car did the same. I pulled over, heart pounding, and looked around. There was nothing but darkness in the empty highway. I searched for any sign of the other car but found nothing. I continued my journey home, feeling a chill in my spine that had nothing to do with the cold night air. Next glitch. I had a dog growing up named Buster. He was a faithful companion for many years until he passed away. Fast forward several years and I was living in a different city, hundreds of miles away from my childhood home. One day, while walking in a park, I saw a dog that looked exactly like Buster. He was playing fetch with a man that resembled my deceased father. The dog had the same unique markings, the same joyful bounce, and even responded to the name Buster when I called it out. The man looked up and for a moment our eyes locked, but then he just smiled and continued playing with the dog. I watched them for what felt like hours, feeling a sense of nostalgia mixed with disbelief. I even followed them at a distance when they left the park, until they turned a corner and disappeared. I ran to catch up, but found the street empty, with no sign of them. Next glitch. A few years ago, I took a trip to visit my cousin in Arizona. We planned a weekend of hiking and exploring, taking advantage of the beautiful, rugged landscape. 
we decided to explore one of the more remote trails. We packed up our gear and began the trek early in the morning. We reached a clearing with a gorgeous view of the valley below. We decided to set up our picnic here. My cousin took a few pictures of the landscape while I started preparing the food. Then, something caught my cousin's eye. Far off in the distance, he saw a figure on another hilltop, looking through binoculars. He gave me the binoculars and pointed in the direction of the figure. It was clearly another hiker, but the peculiar part was that the hiker looked identical to me, from his clothes down to his hiking boots. By the time I handed the binoculars back to my cousin, the figure had vanished. We later hiked to that hilltop, but found no trace of anyone having been there. Next glitch. I once lived in a small apartment complex in a quiet suburban neighborhood. One day I returned home after a weekend trip to find something unusual in my apartment. Everything was seemingly normal except for one detail, my vintage alarm clock. The clock was an old wind-up type with a distinctive chime. It always sat on my bedside table and every morning I'd wind it up to keep it going. But when I returned from my trip, it was sitting on my kitchen counter, ticking away. I was certain I hadn't moved it before leaving. I'm very meticulous about my belongings. I figured maybe I'd moved it in a rush and forgotten. That night, as I went to bed, I placed the clock back on my bedside table. In the morning, I woke up to the alarm, reached out to silence it, but it wasn't there. I found it on the kitchen counter, just like the day before. This went on for a week, despite me placing the clock by my bed every night. Then as suddenly as it had started, it stopped. My clock never moved on its own again. Next glitch. I was traveling on a train through Europe, enjoying the scenic views and the rhythmic sounds of the wheels on the tracks. At one of the stops, a woman got on and sat across from me. She was reading a newspaper dated exactly one year in the future. I stared in disbelief, trying to make sense of what I was seeing. I could read the headlines, the stories, even the date clearly. I struck up a conversation with her and she seemed oblivious to the anomaly. We talked about the weather, the places we were visiting, but I couldn't shake the sight of that newspaper. Eventually, I asked her about it, pointing to the date. She looked at it and laughed, saying it must be a misprint. But the stories were not what I remembered from the current news. They were events that hadn't happened yet. When she got off at her stop, she left the newspaper behind. I picked it up intending to keep it as proof, but as I touched it, the date changed to the current day and the story shifted to what was actually happening in the world. I was left staring at a perfectly ordinary newspaper with no evidence of what I had seen and a feeling that reality had just played a trick on me. Next glitch. During spring cleaning, I came across an old photo album. When I flipped through it, I recognized all but one photo. This one was a group picture from a beach trip in the 80s. A gathering I could vaguely remember except for the stranger standing next to me. The people in the snapshot were close friends and family, yet standing next to me smiling and waving was a man I had no recollection of. I showed the picture to everyone in it and they all remembered him. That's your friend, Alex. I was shocked. My friends and family had no trouble recalling him and even told me we were dating at the time. I was like, what? I don't remember this guy at all. I was so confused. I had no idea how I could have forgotten someone who was so close to me. I got in an argument with my brother because I couldn't believe they were being serious. But everyone told me I was the one misremembering, so I finally accepted it as truth. I was embarrassed and confused. I thought they were going to send me to a psych yard. I don't remember Alex, and I feel like I have lost a part of myself. Next glitch. Being a park ranger, 
I often take groups on wildlife spotting trips. One day, in the middle of a tour, a massive, beautiful stag appeared. I pointed it out to the group and everyone was silently appreciating this example of local wildlife. Suddenly, it darted off, leaving behind a trail of dust, and everyone sighed at the sight. However, I could still see the stag, standing exactly where it was, clear as day. I blinked a couple of times, but it was surely standing there, while my group was discussing how fast the animal had dashed away. No matter what I said or how much I blinked, the stag stayed put until I finally looked away. When I returned my gaze, it was gone. If you're not asleep yet, hit the subscribe button. Stay safe.